Hello, this is Ray Paik, I'm the Community Manager at GitLab, and welcome to the wrap-up session of the Q3 Hackathon. Uh, let me uh, put the slide into presentation mode so people can see it better. Um, yeah, so it's been exciting uh, two days. Um, I, I think in some time zones, like especially in Asia Pacific, it's already the 30th, but uh, over the two days, 28th and 29th, uh, it's been good to uh, see community members uh, really get engaged, and and we had record number of uh, merge requests submitted uh, for the hackathon, which I'll get to in a minute, which was really excited, uh, exciting, uh, but also a lot of interaction on on Gitter uh, and and issues and others where people were collaborating and helping each other out. That was uh, really really fun to see. Uh, so, uh, like we've always done uh, with each of the hackathons, just wanted to have a quick uh, recap of how things have gone over the past two days. And also wanted to uh, talk quickly about some of the recognitions that we typically do for our contributors. Um, uh, just wanted to give you an idea. I mean, obviously, people who have MRs merge will, will get a get an award or a prize uh, following the event. But I mean, there are other ways that we try to recognize uh, regular contributors as well, and love to get your feedback on that uh, uh, through Gitter or other channels. Uh, first of all, a quick recap and big thank you to all the presenters and those who participated in a in, uh, number of tutorial sessions that we had. Um, all the links and uh, slide, uh, all the links to recordings and slides are available on the main hackathon uh, page. Uh, you see the link there. Uh, you see a table of all the contents under sessions. Uh, you see a, a little snippet of the of of the video along with the presentations right below it uh, that you can check out at, at your leisure. And there's also the Hackathon playlist on YouTube. Um, uh, so uh, all of the tutorial sessions uh, from this Hackathon and, and past Hackathons that you should be able to, uh, you should be able to find and view. Uh, but uh, I mean, I think we had a lot of good speakers this time around and uh, uh, definitely want to keep this going for future hackathons. And if you have suggestions for topics and speakers that you want to you wanna hear from, uh, please let us know. Um, in terms of MRs, uh, I briefly mentioned this. I mean, you'll see uh, the screenshot of the issue uh, number 24. We're keeping track of all the MRs. Uh, when I created this slide uh, a little earlier today, I said 80 plus, but I think we've actually may have hit like 90 right before I got on the call. Uh, the previous record was 67 in Q1, and I mean, we just, uh, it looks like the, uh, we just shattered the record. Uh, so I definitely want to thank everyone for that. Uh, I think during the kickoff session, uh, I think I may have made a comment about I'd like to get to the heights that we were in, in Q1, but we not only met it, but we way surpassed it. So uh, uh, congratulations, everybody, uh, and thank you for a job well done. And um, out of the 90 or so MRs, uh, last time I checked, there were about 20 or so MRs that were already merged uh, as of uh, about an hour ago. Uh, so I assume that will continue. Uh, uh, over the next uh, few days. And as in the past, I mean, the MRs came for, I mean, several different projects, whether it's CENEE -E that, that everybody is uh, already familiar with, but other projects like uh, design.gitlab.com. I was happy that people contributing to UI after the tutorial session we had. Uh, GDK, Runner, Triage, uh, Gitaly, our website, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, definitely appreciate uh, everybody contributing to various projects that we have at GitLab. Uh, uh, so that was great to see. Uh, but if I happen to be missing your MRs, and it's very possible my inbox is being getting inundated with the new MRs coming in. So in, in case I missed it, I mean, please uh, ping me on Gitter at rpake and and or, or even on the issue itself, uh, just let me know if I'm missing something from the list, and uh, I'll be happy to add it to the list so that that you get uh, you get credit for those. 
Um, just a couple of reminders and I guess an announcement uh, in terms of prizes. Uh, anybody with the Merge MR will receive that uh, power bank that you see on the bottom left of the slide. Uh, and there's a grand prize for people who have the most MRs merged by September 10th. Uh, and there'll also be a second prize winner as well. Uh, so the deadline again is, um, is September 10th at 2300 UTC. Uh, if you have any questions or any help, like in moving things along in terms of reviews uh, or things getting uh, to, or to get things merged, I mean, please ping me or David uh, on on Gitter, uh, and then we'll uh, do our best to uh, help sort of move things along. Uh, also excited to announce the dates uh, for the next hackathon. We'll get back together in mid-November. Uh, so 13 and 14 should be uh, Thursday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday that week like we're doing now. Uh, but look for official announcements as we get closer uh, towards November. Uh, look for our usual channels on, on, on Gitter or Reddit or, or even on the Twitter feed. Uh, uh, so you should see us Twitter either for me or GitLab going out in terms of announcements. Um, uh, obviously, like I said, this has been a great and fun event. It's it's uh, sort of good to see people sort of come back from summer vacation and uh, and uh, and uh, the volume of the work and collaboration that I've been seeing, uh, amount of collaboration that I've been seeing has been pretty impressive. Uh, but if you have any feedback on the event, like on the topics for a tutorial session for the next hackathon or, or any logistical things that, that you want to uh, see improve for the next event, please let me and David know. Uh, be really happy to hear your feedback on, on, on how we can do things better next time around. Uh, I mean, speaking of prizes, I mean, obviously, if you participated in Hackathon uh, either this time around or, or previously, you you've probably seen uh, various awards that we've been uh, we've been sending out to uh, people who've been submitting MRs during the event. Uh, but there are several other ways that we typically um, uh, recognize contributors, and just wanted to share a few examples with you. Uh, on all the way on the left, I mean, some of you may have received this mug. I mean, we started this campaign about a year ago. Uh, when you have your first MR merge, uh, we send this uh, camper mag with a uh, camper mug with a hashtag. Uh, and a number of uh, people have uh, posted fun pictures on Twitter. And actually, if you let me get out of the presentation mode. Uh, if you click on this link, uh, it basically shows you a search result on, on Twitter uh, where people have been uh, celebrating uh, the mug. Uh, so, I mean, that's one example. And, and then the other initiative that we, we started was to uh, sort of recognize some of the regular contributors. Uh, and we published this um, website uh, earlier this year, I think sometime in Q1, if you click on this link, it'll take you to the actual page. We um, uh, wanted to celebrate people that have had at least five or more MRs merged or, during the calendar year. And, and we put them in like a three different categories, uh, uh, superstar, star, and enthusiast, uh, depending on your contribution level. Uh, and we've also uh, sent out uh, a GILAB uh, theme merchandise for for different contribution levels. Uh, you'll see a couple of examples here. Uh, I'm, I mean, what uh, I'm th uh, we're thinking of doing going forward is rather than wait until like January, February to publish this list. Uh, I think throughout the year, for example, for 2019, I think I'll go ahead and uh, publish the list as of a certain date, and so you can people can see sort of where they stand and, and even see the progress as, as they uh, hopefully move up the ranks um, during the year. So hopefully in the next several weeks, you'll see an updated uh, a, a page uh, with the uh, list of 2019 regular contributors. Um, and hopefully you'll see uh, more evidence of this on, on social media like Twitter as well. Um, so that's one, uh, one of the other things that we started earlier this year. Uh, what's been going on for a long time uh, is uh, release MVP or the GitLab Hall of Fame. Um, for each release, we nominate one community member as, uh, as that month's most valuable person. 
uh, have a couple of uh, screenshots. I mean, one, I mean, you'll you'll see this page when you click on, click on this link as well. Uh, sort of gives you a running list of all the MVP winners uh, for uh, following each release. And uh, this also gets highlighted during our release posts. I mean, every time we do a release, we uh, publish a release post uh, in our blog section. And this is sort of an example of uh, our last month's MVP, Fabio, um, for to celebrate a lot of great work that he's done for us. Uh, so this is another way. So we, we recognize a lot of the uh, regular contributors who's been making uh, great contributions to the community. Um, so just wanted to highlight some of these. Uh, we're obviously uh, thinking and looking for ways to, uh, to recognize uh, our code contributors in, in, a, in a variety of ways. Uh, so if you have any feedback or thoughts or suggestions, I mean, please do let me know. Uh, but I mean, this is probably one of the you know more fun part of the job, uh, seeing community members get recognized. Uh, so just wanted to share that with everyone as well. Uh, I think that's sort of uh, that's the last slide. Uh, I mean, again, I want to thank you for your enthusiasm, energy. Uh, hopefully, at least in the northern hemisphere, hopefully everybody had a good summer, uh, and it's good to. Uh, uh, see or, or 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 hear from you again uh, at, uh, after the summer period here in the no northern hemisphere and uh, I definitely look forward to doing this again in November uh, and thanks again and I'll talk to you again soon thank you